All right, so I was given uh, the film Life to watch on DVD. I'm oh, just borrowing it. I hated it, okay? Um, I've actually watched a couple of YouTube film reviews from people who I actually normally respect on their film reviews, and I think, were well, they watching a different film to me? I can't be bothered to actually come up with my own opinion because I didn't like it that much. So I'm going to go to some uh, reviews on the IMDb website. So I've got my laptop here. Let's see. I'm just going to summarise what some people have written. Someone has written a god-awful movie that makes Prometheus look like a brilliant sci-fi movie. That's saying something. This has to be the worst sci-fi movie I've ever seen. And trust me, I've seen a lot. So wherever this person is, they see a lot of sci-fi. It's an insult to everyone with just half a brain. But let me give you a little taste of this gem. Then he goes on quite a long rant about the film here. Next person. Unbearable to watch if you still have any common sense. That's true. This movie is a total loss and is unbearable to watch. It lacks the very basic minimal scientific reasoning about almost every single sense. Oh, and then he lists a bunch of facts about this, another long rant. This could have been a really great and interesting movie, but is ruined by a string of illogical events. It is. It's basically the the, the characters are all idiots. You, when people go to work and live on the International Space Station, they are tested uh, mentally and psychologically um, to be decent. You know, to, they have to have certain professional qualities. They're not going to crack under pressure. They're not going to let their emotions get the better of them. They're going to constantly be doing the best. And every single character in this film was a complete fucking idiot. They're all just emotional and stupid. And, and half of them don't even know what's going on. It's like you've got the person in, front, in charge of uh, quarantine seems to know stuff. And no one else seems to know what's going on. And... And this person knows that, but these people don't. You'd have thought they'd all have detailed briefings. They even specify at the beginning of the film that they've been planning months and months for the arrival of these specimens. I mean, what were they doing in those months of planning? I mean, they clearly weren't talking to each other about this, that and the other. You know, and what happens if this happens and what happens if that happens? And th there just seems to be no common sense to it. I mean... They just didn't have a clue what they were doing and, you know, they're breaking, you know, there's quarantine stuff and it's like, hey, let's open the door. Why, you know, this this thing's escaped and, you know, let, let's just get in there and, oh, shit, he's dead. Uh, what a shame. And then everyone dies one by one due to sheer stupidity. And this alien organism is made out to be, like, really super intelligent. But it's not really super intelligent. It's just dealing with a fun bunch of halfwits. It's just, there is, if there, if that was a real crew on the International Space Station dealing with exactly the same scenario, the film would have ended very differently because they wouldn't have opened the fucking door at the beginning. It's like, this guy, I can't remember their names, his hand is trapped, it's crashing in and he comes out and then Ryan Reynolds' character opens the door, he goes and to rescue him, it's like, it's a fucking quarantine, and then they've got it outside, and then I was thinking, okay, this stupid woman, she's trying to fix the communication array, and then the thing's on her, and they're trying to get him in, and, and Jake Gyllenhaal's character's like, go open the door, I've got to get you back in. It's like, you fucking stupid. And eventually, she decides to, like, sacrifice herself, but it's like, no, she should have done that at the beginning, okay, I would have done, okay. I'm, I'm not in any hurry to die, but when it's, like, the fate of the entire human race, and then, oh god, no, it's just stupid. Look, what, what else is, has other people written? Someone's written, too bad to even be funny. Life is the kind of horror that relies on viewers buying into the idea that supposedly brilliant people will all suddenly choose to incredibly stupid things. I think that's supposed to, to do incredibly stupid things. They've missed out a word there. Someone else has written, utter tripe where all the crew are morons and life form defies physics. Well, uh, the plot has so many holes it might as well be made of Swiss cheese. What else has someone written? Uh, oh, someone says they want their money back. Luckily, this DVD was just lent to me so I didn't pay for it. 
This movie was absolutely awful. The storyline unfolds as an ever-ending cycle of worst case scenarios. Literally, if at any given point the movie, one thing would went right, the movie would have ended. Instead it's just a non-stop BS, even the leading into the next one. Someone's just simply written don't watch and then gone into a long rant. A lot of these people that don't like it have written really, really long rants. Um, about why they don't like it. I mean, it's fucking awful. It's a terrible film. And it's terrible because the characters are so unbelievable. Every single one of them. You're just thinking, no way would they do that. I mean, I have quite an interest in astronomy and space and, and astronauts and the space station and what it takes to be an astronaut or cosmonaut or whatever and actually go on to the space station and the amount of preparation involved and these people just look like they just got a bunch of idiots stuck through them on the station and then said oh okay let get on with it no it's completely and utterly unbelievable there is no logic or sense in any of it it was i hated it i was just Sitting there, watching it on the TV, waiting for it to end, thinking, oh my god, when is this going to end? It's terrible. It is the worst film. They could have been good. It could have been amazing. But every single character was flawed by being a fucking moron. It just a bunch of fucktards. Oh, I hate it. It's just, ah, oh. Terrible, terrible, terrible film. It could have been so interesting. And then the ending, the back of the uh, the box. <coughs> so here's the box, I've got the box here. It says, an ending you'll never see coming. There we go, where is it? There. And, um, well, do you know what? Yeah, I, I did see it coming. I think a lot of people would have seen it coming. You know, it has a bit of a real reveal at the end. And then... And then it's just more idiots. Right at the very end, you've got some people in a boat. Right? They're not, you know, we don't know who they are. They just find this, the uh, life pod as it comes down to Earth. And they, they try to open up the capsule. They can see inside that it's a really bad situation inside. And they're like, hey, let's open it up. Let's, ah, uh, no. It's a fucking awful film. Do not watch life. But having said that, there are a lot of people that seem to like it, and the, as I said at the beginning of this uh, video, um, there are some big film reviewers on YouTube who actually seem to like it and enjoy it. Well, they've lost my respects. I used to watch their channels quite a lot, okay, and I actually was invested in their opinions. But the fact that they have decided that they like this film, I'm never watching their channels again. They, they've lost me. That's it. Anyone that likes this, no, I'm not, no. They've complete, um, yeah. Not, not, just, no, I'm, I'm actually quite annoyed. Anyway, I'm going to um, go now, um, because I'm annoyed and I need to chill out. All right, see you later.